See them? Skiving over here, eating, using their phone, then don't want to serve the customer. <laughs> So before we actually start um, to see the features, right? So I um, just want to show you guys a couple of things, especially for this uh, main tank here. So I notice that every single time I come here, right, this tank is either um, being skipped, half skipped, or it's not really full. But like this is the only time, right, I actually see this um, whole tank full. So you can actually see that it's. If I'm not wrong, this is okay. This is like four feet by four feet by. I think it's about one point five. It's a shallow lagoon style um, tank here. So what they actually did over here, right? Um, this front section here, right, is like literally covered with um, a lot of different types of scollies. You get like um, yeah, you get a lot of bleeding apples here and there, and then like the wall panes, and then in the bottom, right, there's actually a lot more. Like, look at the whole cluster of the wall panes here, and then the contrast with the bleeding apple is just. It just really pops into one section over here and they have like a couple of different types um, of scollies as well which I don't know which uh, where are these guys from but probably I'll ask uh, Pat later and then as you go up higher right you have like this whole section here for the SPS um, range here so a couple of really nice acros there's like Monty's growing on top of it as well and if we move down you get the second valley over this side so you get actually like more of the LPSs you get the torches on this section here and then it moves to the back where you get a lot of um, the hamels, the frog spawns and then to the really really nice um, gonio garden over here so and then at the back right this is like one of my favorite section which is the Aikens area so this stuff is not small this is like it's full colony sized acorns which the fishes here are like hungry every day they're like when I put my camera on top right look at them they're like just all over here which totally disrupt the water surface but yeah so this is like just sidetrack a bit right so this is like one of my favorite section here which is like the acorn gardens and then inside here right you get like the smaller uh, the branching hamels these are the para and coras the really really nice um, branching hammers and then a couple of um, acros um, there's like millis over here and then there's like a um, couple more different SPSs and then at the bottom you get um, the bounces so overall this this tank itself right is huge you guys can see like four feet by four feet this is not something you can actually get um, from a typical HDB right this one definitely cannot fit this in but on a sh um, a store display right this is actually one of like the really really impressive um thing over here so if you guys want to see a full tour on this tank right um leave a comment down below i will share with you guys a bit more i'll probably get them to actually share with us um what is here what is actually running the system um the filtration itself this is something that i've not touched on so this is something that we can actually talk about in the next upcoming video but Leave a comment down below if you guys want to see more about this tank. This is more like a little small um, glimpse, a little small uh, sneak peek, I would say, of the the full four feet by four feet tank over here. So let's head over to the sales site and then see what else they have on the other end. Okay, so we are um, over at the sales floor section. So um, they actually filled quite a lot of stuff recently uh, with the typical rose bubble tips that you guys see over here really really nice stuff and then um, just let me move this aside first and then we get to see a couple more different stuff um, hammers they've got a lot of very nice um, hammers over here but this is not like the main thing the main really one thing that I want to show you guys right is this section over here this itself is just beautiful it's like look at the amount of the greens blues the golds the orange hammers in this area here right um, I try to see how much the camera can pick up but look at the colors it's, it's bright it's really really bright like this is like by far one of my favorite so far and this is like something that I would definitely want to get um, yeah and you can see right behind right they have the larger colonies over here but we just want to get like one hit two hit right if I'm not wrong this section over here they have 
from the smaller one head to it um, all the way up to the about three to four heads type but this itself this it's a stunner this is something that you should really get for all of your displays if you are a huge euphilia guy right this is something that i highly highly recommend the colors of it right um, it's just bright the gold orange hammers are just amazing so this is something that i really recommend for all of you guys um yeah, just give you guys another look on this section here so yeah so like one of my favorites uh, which is this the bicolor toxic you guys see this in my house pretty often uh, this itself is the one that is currently at my place that i always say that it's not doing so well yeah this is how it actually looks like over here um really nice purplish bluish uh the hammer and then yeah so a couple of smaller green frags over here really nice stuff so one more thing that really catches my attention right is this small and cora over here in the middle right this itself this is like a it kind of have this very nice rainbow hue to it which is also another very interesting frag over here it's like hidden among this whole section here so let them know if you are actually looking for something like this we move over to the second uh, frag tank a couple of really nice elegance at the back the torches as usual they are still glowing really brightly and then we move over to like the soft coral section or the zoa area so you have the scollies at the back here you've seen all the scollies up in front and this is like this other section where it's for sale if i'm not wrong the sales floor is the other tank is also for sale as well but this is something that you have to check with them a couple of really nice uh the blastomosis frags right below here really nice signs really good signs they are like at least five to six heads per blastomosa frex and next thing we come to zoas so zoas right these guys um, are by far really really good with their zoas they have quite a lot of very nice interesting ids over here um the acid reflux which is one that um that's over there which is like this little guy here this is like by far um yeah one of the top favorites which i will leave a photo down below i actually got a very good shot of the acid reflux so uh, something that i really want to get as well but then yeah it's gonna cost a lot but something that is really a it's not really cost a lot but yeah it's just something that's not in the price point right now we move over here right this is like the sps section they have uh, the 3 for 188 and look at the size of these guys these are huge though 3 for 188 for at least a colony size is really really uh, pretty worth it and then if you guys want something that's very simple right they actually have like ten dollars a frag where else do you actually get to find ten dollars a frag on sps really really nice size and the cool thing about them right they are not just like glued on glued on and then just sell you for ten dollars i can see most of them right they actually encrusted over to the frag plug already so Definitely these guys are like healthy, healthy frags. They are not like something that is just being glued on and then they are plucked here for sale immediately. They actually do spend a lot of time in um, taking good care of them in terms of getting them to to encrust on before they actually put over here. $10 of frag is something that you guys should really go for. If you guys want something that's beginner, I guess I'm gonna just try it out, right? Come over here, look for this section here. $10 of frag. Thumbs up. Okay, so we um okay, so we actually decided that we will still go with these guys here. That um, so they say Jackie re recommended these guys, right? Um, because of the colors is just so insane that uh, definitely we have to have one in the studio, right? So yeah, so same thing because the tank is really small at home, right? We can only go for a smaller size one. But then look at the selections that they have over here, which is kind of something that it's really really hard for us to choose. So I'm actually not going to be the one choosing them so i'm actually gonna get one of these guys here but then you see them they are like eating there then they decided not to ignore me but then we'll grab someone to <laughs> to help us with this so we will get one of the other staff here to actually um show us a couple of things that they have over here and then um what should we actually pick home okay so here we actually have um charlotte which is like a new face um I've never actually played our videos before, so she's actually going to share with us on a couple of different euphemias they have over here. So, shall I show us um, the couple of different color models that you guys have here in S5? Okay, we just start off with uh, say our toxic, so we have quite a bit of them. They are like, pretty nice, and then uh, okay, on this side, they are mostly your wall hammers. 
and then towards the side of branching hammers. Ah. So, in terms of branching hammers, I feel like uh, the colors are a little bit more special. So, we have your orange hammers, you have a lot of them, and yeah, it's one of the more sought after uh, hammers here. They're also on the pricier side. Lah. Yeah, then, mm, your toxic hammers. There are actually a few kinds of toxic. So you have your toxic green, and then you have more uh, ultra toxic kind of stuff. So they look a little bit more neon yellow. And then, uh, say for your wall hammers, I think uh, I don't think we have it here anymore. But we have one of the we have like a more special kind of like wall hammer, where it's uh, also very soft and pretty pricey with your rainbow hammer lah. And I'm sorry, we don't have any right here, but uh. You can actually go look it up, and then sometimes you have stuff. Yeah, then mm, one of my favorite wall hammers. I feel like a lot of people are not so uh, courageous in choosing wall hammers because of you know their rep of say they get bacterial infection and they tend to spread really quickly. I actually like this piece here. Which piece of it? The yellow one. The, the one in the middle, right there, yeah. right? That's a wall hammer as well. Yeah, it's a wall hammer. I think it's very pretty. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's very bright though. The color there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our main actually purpose here, right, is actually we're actually going to pick up one of this um, orange hammers that you guys have over here. So, um, in terms of them, right, what are you, what do you guys look out for? Um, like let's say for price wise, how much are they going for? And then um, care level wise, are they like the same as other hammer corals? Lighting wise, are they also in the same range? Yeah, we are basically all about the same. It's just that you know you are looking at a more higher end, more pretty coral. So I guess more people would uh like for our customers who actually get them, they are more willing to pay a price. Like, and then we are actually going for 180 per head, which is pretty up there. But uh say in terms of care, basically the same as all other hammers. Yeah, then you wanna see one of them like up close. Can we? Yeah 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 yeah. Okay, so she's actually gonna show us um one of this really really nice um Hammers over here. Just look at the colors of these guys, man. They are like bright, bright, bright. They are like really by far one of the brightest hammers that we have um, in the market right now as well. This is a very nice piece, though. The colors is really bright. Just let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. It's like gold polyps, orange polyps, but then like, inside the base is a different color. If I'm not wrong. It's more purplish. Right. Yeah, you can see it's like the purple, orange, purple, orange, gold, that kind of thing. So, this is one of the corals that you recommend to most reefers out there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are actually contemplating between the first two small single gate ones in front there. So, we will leave this to you to pick one for us. So, I think it's the one that Patrick decided on the, the, the two over there. These two? Yes, so about these two, right? Um, Pick the one that you prefer and then why you actually prefer that. Okay, I'll choose this one. The one on the left. You choose the one on the left. Why is yeah. it so? Mm, to me, uh, just to me personally, I think it looks a bit more it looks a little brighter than the other one. Yeah, and I prefer the shape, I guess. But if you put them closer together, I think the one on the left looks a little bit more vibrant than the one on the right. But you go for that lah. Okay, so um, it's been actually about a week already since um, we've been to Supreme. So, um, so a couple of things that I'll show you, right? So first thing, right? Let's take a look at the hammer that is right over here. So this is the um, the orange hammer that was picked up um, over there in Supreme, and also we picked up this really really nice. Um, Okay, so this is like the smaller para and cora species, right? So recently, right, I've noticed there's a huge trend for this little guys here. So, um, yeah, so this week I actually picked up one of this as well. Um, this is from another reefer. So it's like, I believe that's actually bought from my like colony and then they actually fragged one up for me. So, yeah, it's also like the golden rainbow variant. So these guys are interesting. They're like in trend right now. You see them a lot in the Indonesian shipment recently. Um, they do not get as big as the other Euphelias They usually just get only about this size But then, um, yeah, they are a bit fast growers And then they are like the mini mini version of um, 
the Euphelia Shabaya. So as you guys can see, the piece that we get here from Supreme is like beautiful. So if you see from far, right, this is how our little um, Euphelia Garden is actually looking right now. So sorry, the Hammer Garden is actually looking right now. So we are just short of. I probably want to put one more big piece here, and then I think that should be all for this area here. So. Aside from that, right, uh, remember I said that I visited the reefer for that, right? I also picked up uh, a couple of newer Gony frags. Uh, yeah, so in trend right now as well. Gonies are like popular, popular. Pick up some really nice pink lashes, guy. This over here, right, really, really nice um, green lash with pink base. And then there's like another one. This is the one that we used to have. Um, let me see if I can get another better shot for you guys. Yeah, it's like pink lash with blue circles inside there. And then this piece over here, very interesting. This is like, um, it's a bit bleachy, but then it's actually doing really well over here at our place. And it's like green base with a very nice pinkish. Uh, the, the tentacles are actually pink, if you guys can see, with this polyp over here. Like, yeah, this one over here. So, a couple of really nice stuff. The gony area here is actually looking good as well. So, overall look of the tank that's pretty pretty colorful right now um, still very green we'll probably get we'll probably fill the bottom here with a couple of nicer orange stuff and then with the help of the orange hammer we actually managed to like probably like change the color palette a bit here and look at the rbta the rose bubble tip and lemony here is huge man like today right you guys are in a very good show because it's actually opening up really very nicely and the other piece over here is like bubbling up but however whenever this guy bubbles, uh, bubbles up right you can see my duncan here is not doing very well i believe because it's actually very close though this tank is not that big it's like only about what two feet by two feet so um, a lot of the corals here are actually growing pretty pretty fast that I need to do something about it soon but yeah we'll see how it goes probably we'll put something else on this side but that should be mainly all okay so the last thing that I want to mention to you guys right is about the um, giveaway so we have actually closed the giveaway already so um, I will be announcing the winner um, this week probably on Sunday itself on the next upcoming video I don't want to do it in this video because this video is actually very very lengthy already so I just want you guys to really enjoy the corals, the tour, um, yeah. But then um, response is good, a lot of you guys actually leave a comment section down below on the previous video, right? If you guys have not seen it right, I'll leave a link up right now. So yeah, I will actually close the, um, the giveaway already. But then big thanks to everybody for all the support we are at 1.5k. So I will be doing the 1.5k giveaway uh, real soon. But we'll see how that goes. But then yeah, so for the winner announcing right, the people who actually um, in the comment section actually leave a comment down below right, please look out for the next upcoming video right. I will actually, I'm actually i actually thinking of doing a very special way of balloting but I have really no idea what, how am I going to pick the winner yet. So I will give me a couple of days to think about it and then I will probably do another video on that next Sunday. But same thing if you guys like all the videos we put up for you guys, hit that subscribe button. We noticed that about almost more than 80% of you guys are, are watching this video and you guys are not subscribed to it. So if you actually really love all the contents that we do for you guys, right, uh, please please do hit that subscribe button because it's really important for the channel here to grow. There's a lot more things that I really want to show you guys, but without all your support, right, uh, we really cannot go that far. But then if you want, really want to see more things, right? please do hit that subscribe button down below. Share all our videos out. Share with your friends, our channel. Same thing, like, subscribe and I will see you guys next week.